these civilians and the white helmets. Uh, they are now safely out of Syria. Tell us more about where they are now and where they go from here. Well, George and Natalie, it was an overnight operation that took them from southern Syria, one of the last areas that hasn't been fully retaken by the Syrian regime, through Israel and then into Jordan. That's where they are now. Jordan says, uh, through a spokesman for the Jordanian foreign ministry, that they're being held in what he terms restricted areas. They'll be there for three months before they're transferred to western countries where they will be given safe haven. Among those countries, Canada, Germany, uh, and the UK. And that gives you an idea of the support the White Helmets have internationally. It also gives you an idea of how sensitive of an operation this was. Of course, any operation between Syria and Israel, humanitarian or otherwise, is already sensitive. But remember that the White Helmets are considered a terrorist organization by the Syrian regime and by the Russians, which means getting them out of Syria becomes that much more delicate and that much more crucial, especially as the Syrian regime, with the help of the Russians, closes in on the last parts of southern Syria. We know for a few days now there have been, there's been an effort, an international effort, to make sure these white helmets and these other civilians have a way out. George and Natalie, we just saw how that came through here. It is interesting uh, at the same time, Oren, that uh, the United States not really on that list of other nations that you mentioned uh, as these uh, civilians in the White Helmets ha have been evacuated from, from Syria. Well, the U.S. was part of the effort to, to, to put together this operation and make sure there was a way out. But from what we know right now, which is a statement from the Jordanians as well as a statement from the Canadian Foreign Ministry, it doesn't look like the U.S. will take in any of these White Helmets, even though over the course of the last few years, since the White Helmets began operating several years ago, the U.S. has contributed millions of dollars to the White Helmets, as have other nations. And that's because of their critical work. This is a volunteer rescue group that, in the, in the fighting of Syria, in the chaos of Syria, has become uh, an incredibly important factor and an incredibly important group for saving lives. They say there are roughly 4,000 members of the White Helmets, that is, according to the organization. And they say they've saved more than 100,000 lives in the years of fighting in Syria.